Hey guys, and welcome to this new guide. Today we will teach you how to write your own scripts and even how to create your own add-on to make your UI the most efficient it can be. This guide will only cover basic framework in the UI and not teach you how to make an add-on like DBM or Gladius. Scripts essentially are just commands you give your game that will result in changing certain elements of your UI. There are thousands of these commands, but you only need a few to really craft your own personal UI. In World of Warcraft, you can use scripts by typing the commands in macros and then pressing them once. This will apply the commands to the game immediately until you either log out or reload, which is why you have to press them every time you log in. A script always starts with the command forward slash run, no matter what. After that, the command you want to give has to follow. For example, if you put this in a macro and press it, you can see that your player frame increases in size. The player frame stands for the frame you want to change, and the set scale tells the game to increase the size based on what you type in the brackets. That is the raw concept on how to create a script and build your UI. We will now go over a bunch of these scripts and teach you what each one does. Let's start using the player frame as an example. Keep in mind that you can use the commands on every frame, not only the player frame. For example, you could switch out the run player frame set scale 2 script to run target frame set scale 2, which would just do the same trick but with the target frame. So, as you already know, the script run player frame set scale 2 increases the size heavily. If you want to change how it modifies the size, you just go in the brackets and change the number to whatever you like. Run player frame set scale 0.5 would make the player frame really small, whereas run player frame set scale 1 would be the default size. What if you want to hide a frame? You can just use this command. Run player frame hide will just hide your player frame completely. This means that you cannot interact with it at all anymore. Another way to hide your frame, but still interact with it, is set alpha. Run player frame set alpha will just do the same as before and just hide the frame, but now you can still interact with the frame. As you can see, I can still use the frame normally, but you just cannot see it. Now, the cool thing about set alpha is that you can change the value just like with size in the brackets. This will change the transparency of the frame. Run player frame set alpha 0.5 will make the frame 50% transparent. So every time you want to hide something, think about if you want to still use it or completely remove it from your UI. So now you know how to hide, change the transparency and even completely hide the player frame. But obviously you want to change any of your frames. You know that you can just replace the name of your frame in the script as we did with the target frame. They do the same command to different frames, so all you need to know is the name of the frame. Now all you have to do is find the name of the frame you want to change. To find the frame names, there is something built into the game called fstack. This command can be typed in chat and will give you all the information you need if you hover over it with your cursor. What you want to look for here is the name of the frame. Now, if you hover over certain things, it gets pretty obvious what the frame name is, but sometimes you just have to try a few of the names that get shown to find out the exact one that you want to change. Let's say I want to hide the minimap, because I think it's not necessary information I need in Arena. I hover over the minimap, and it shows me a few names, so what I do is just look at them and decide what makes the most sense. I see minimap backdrop, minimap cluster, minimap border, and minimap. So each one does something else, and it would look different if I took out one of them because I want to remove the whole minimap. I decide to try minimap as my frame since it makes the most sense. So here I just replace the player frame that we used to hide earlier with the minimap. And as you can see, it hides the minimap completely. You can do this with every single frame of your UI, and the more you try it, the easier it gets. Also keep in mind that you can post multiple scripts in one macro, as long as there is space for it. A typical macro might look like this. 
Now, apart from changing the styles of your UI, you can also move things around. For that, your scripts will be a little bit longer because you will have to give free commands. Let's say you don't really like the positioning of the micro buttons, like the dungeon journal or the group finder, and want to move it somewhere else. All you have to pay attention to are the numbers in the brackets again. Depending on your UI scale, this example won't work for you, but as you see this changes the position of the micro menu to the top. The first number in the brackets is the X coordinate and the second one is the Y coordinate. You can play around with the numbers in the brackets to position it everywhere you want. Keep in mind that you always have to have these three macros and use them in this order to position the frame correctly. And as you already know, you can swap the names and the frames you want to move as we did before. I choose a really high number for the Y value, so it moves the frame so far down that you don't see it anymore. Another way to hide something. So for Arena, the only thing you really get for your UI is the built-in Arena frames from Blizzard. They are really bad because they don't show class colors or DRs. I really recommend using S Arena if you want to keep the style of the Blizzard ones, or even Gladius if you don't. So now, after talking about all these scripts, let's see how you can avoid having to press them all the time. You can create your own personal add-on, which will contain all the scripts you have written. That way, all the scripts are automatically applied once you log in. All you have to do is go to this site. Once you are there, you can give your add-on a name. After that, all you have to do is put each line of your scripts in the open field. The whole trick is to remove the run used for your scripts. Once you have done posting all your scripts into the field, you can just download the add-on and put it in your interface add-ons folder like every other add-on and you're done. To round things up, I want to give you guys two scripts that are a little bit harder to create on your own but can still be really nice to have on your add-on. If you put this in your add-on, it will make it so that your unit frames all get class coloured, which can be really helpful to not get confused in 3v3 Arena. This will move your buffs and debuffs relative to your player frame and make them easier to see. Of course you can change the positioning by replacing the values in the brackets to how you want. Ok, that was quite a bit of information. Don't worry if not everything made sense at first because it takes a little bit of time to get this whole thing, but once you figure out how the system works, it will be super fun for you. I hope you liked the guide and if you got any questions, Make sure to leave them in the comments section down below.